Good afternoon, guys. Thank you very much for joining. Vamos a activar todo acá, permítanme. Hoy sí, ahí está. Okay, so thank you so much for joining today. As Christian was telling you today, it's your last class. Hoy es su última clase, así que eh, great job, ¿verdad? La verdad es que es tiempo que usted le ha dedicado al, al nivel, ¿verdad? Y eso es... Eso es muy bueno. Así de que vamos a pasar asistencia primero y luego comenzamos con la última parte de la clase. ¿Qué me voy a mal? Listo. Aquí está. Beatriz Gertrudis Osuna Samayo. Osuna Samayo. Present. Gracias. Eh, César Alexander Ramos Ortiz. Present. Gracias. Eh, Daniel de Jesús Santos Miranda. Daniel de Jesús. Eh, David Sarabia Ares. Edwin Antonio Torres Merino. Gracias. Gracias. Eh, Evelyn Beatriz Campos Hernández. Flor Evelyn Osorio de Bonilla. Present. Gracias. Flor Isabel Escobar Flores. Francisco Nathanael Vázquez Murga. Present. Gracias. Hugo Alfredo Callejas Reyes. Present. Gracias. Eh, Jonathan Alberto Santos España. Jorge Luis Ortiz Espinosa. Lisbeth Natalia Chávez Cervellón. María Lisbeth Hernández de López. Mario José Rivas Hernández. Melanie Abigail Antonio Deras. Present. Thank you. Norberto de Jesús Marroquín Hernández. René Alexis Tejada Girón. Rosa Elvira Medina Orantes. Present. Samuel Humberto Martínez Ramírez. Gracias, Rosa. Present. Gracias. Samuel Antonio Aguirre Tobar. Waldir José Alvarado Ramírez. Y Wendy Lisset Castillo de Mendoza. Gracias, chicos. Bueno, entonces el día de ayer nos quedamos en el 5.10, ¿verdad? De la sección 5. And today we're going to continue with um, the topic about questions, always related to present continuous form. It says, by the end of this class, you will learn vocabulary for discussing different activities. And we are going to be learning a little bit more about verbs, okay? I mean, you can learn a different list, porque hay otras listas también que pueden usar, ¿verdad? Ya vamos a ver si encontramos alguna para compartirles, chicos. And now, uh, when it comes to activities, there are some uh, examples that are shown or presented in the book, right? Well, in your manual or in the platform. Dice René Girón, me está fallando la señal, pero aquí estoy, dice. Ah, no sé si le puse la... No sé si le puse el... la asistencia, pero... René Girón. René... Ah, ahorita se la Hola, pongo, René. Hola. ¿Me escucha? Vaya. Sí, sí. Es sí. que en el momento que me estaba viendo la lista, no se me cortó la señal. Vaya, no se preocupe, ahorita le agregué. Dice Daniel Miranda bueno, Present. Gracias. Bueno, ya sabe. Daniel Miranda Present. Vaya, Daniel, te le agregué ahí la asistencia. Ok, so I was saying we have here some examples, ok, of, um, let's say, activities, verbs, ok. Now we're going to create... 
Jorge Luis Ortiz presente, dice va. A ver. Jorge Luis Ortiz Espinosa, aquí está. Vaya, se lo agregué. <clears throat> Now we're going to create some sentences with these verbs, the ones that we have here, right? It's so listed in practice, okay? Here we have the different activities, right? We have play tennis. Voy a presentar la primer lista, ¿verdad? Tenemos play tennis, ¿verdad? Eh, ride a bike, run, swim, take a walk, dance, ¿verdad? Luego acá abajo tenemos drive, go to the movies, shop, read, study, watch television, right? So we're going to use these actions or these activities to create sentences, okay? Now, for example, the first one, right? We're going to do the following thing. Lo vamos a hacer así, look. Vamos a hacer positivo, negativo y pregunta. ¿Ok? Entonces, si tengo acá play tennis, ¿verdad? ¿Cómo nos quedaría? Bueno, nos quedaría he or his playing tennis. Oops, sorry. Playing tennis, right? He's playing tennis. Negative sentence, well, in that case, of what we have to do is to add the verb to be in the negative form, right? He isn't playing tennis. Question, is he playing Tennis, okay. Entonces, what I need you to do, guys, is to create your sentences using the affirmative, negative, and question form. Now, here we have a short answer. Yes, he is. No, he isn't, ¿verdad? Yes, he is. O puede ser, no, he isn't, ¿verdad? Ahí dependiendo de cuál sea la, la respuesta correcta, ¿ok? So now, let's go ahead and create number two. ¿Cómo nos quedaría la número dos? Esta es playing tennis, ¿ok? What about ride a bike? Ride a bike. ¿Cómo nos quedaría esta? Boston. Question. Mm -hmm. He is a ride a bike. Riding a bike. Muy bien. He is or he is riding a bike. ¿Verdad? No podemos hacerlo sin agregar el ING. He's riding a bike. Muy bien. Next. ¿Cuál sería la negativa? He isn't riding a bike. He isn't riding a bike. Muy bien. Question. Is he riding a bike? Muy bien, is he riding a bike? And the answer could be yes. Oops, yes, he is. Or no, he isn't, ¿verdad? No, he isn't. Muy bien, okay. Uh, what about number three? Okay, in number three, we have run. What are the three sentences that we create uh, that we can create here? It's a woman. She's running. Mm -hmm. She's, oops, sorry. She's running. Aquí duplicamos la n porque es consonante vocal consonante, así que duplicamos la última consonante, ¿verdad? She's running in the park, right? She's running in the park. What about the negative sentence? Sería, she isn't running, right, in the park. Question, guys, pregunta. Is she running in the park? Mm -hmm. Is she running in the park? Very good. Is she running in the park? The answers are, yes, she is, or no. Mm -hmm. She isn't, right? Muy bien. What about the next one? Um, the next one is swim. Okay, swim. Let's see. That's going to be swim. And it seems it's a boy. It's a boy. So what is the sentence that we can create from here? He's swimming. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. He's, oops. He's swimming. He's swimming. Again, tenemos que duplicar la última consonante. He's swimming in the pool, ¿verdad? En la piscina. Negative. He isn't swimming. Swimming. Mm -hmm. Question. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. Is he swimming in the pool? Very good. Yes, he is. Or no, he is swimming. She's running. What about the next one? Okay. Uh, we have take a walk, right? Take a walk. So what sentence can you create? Look, it's a it's a woman. She's walking. Oh, she's well, the verb is take, take a walk. Es como ir a dar una, ir a, dar, ir a caminar, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés sería go and take a walk. Take, take a walk. walk. Mm -hmm. She's taking a walk. She's taking a walk. Muy bien. She's taking a walk. Very good. Negative. She. Mm -hmm. Taking a walk. Question. Is she taking a walk? Is she taking a walk? Muy bien. Very good. Excellent. And in here we can say yes, she is, right? Or no, she isn't. Next, next is dance, okay? So what do you think? Are they dance, dancing? Hey, they are dancing? Ah, okay. They are dancing. Mm -hmm. They are dancing. Muy bien. Uh, negative. They aren't. They aren't dancing. Thanks. Question. Are they dancing? Are they, mm -hmm. are they dancing? Muy bien. Excellent. Okay. The next one is drive. Okay. Vamos a agregar esto acá. Drive. She is driving. She's driving a car. Very good. She's driving. She's driving a car. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Negative. She is driving a car. Muy bien, she isn't driving a car. Question. Is she, she driving a car? Is she driving a car? Very good, okay. So here we have the affirmative, negative, and question form. Okay, so the next one is go to the movies, right? Go to the movies. Go to the movies. Okay, so what would be the sentence that you can create? Uh, they are, they going, are to going to the movies. Muy bien. They. They are going. They are or they are they are going to the movies. Muy bien. Negative. They aren't going to the movies. Mm -hmm. They aren't going to the movies. Question four. Are, are they, they going to the movies? Are they going to the movies? right? Are they going to the movies? Very good. Okay. And the next one is shop. Okay. Shop. Mm -hmm. He's shopping. He's shopping. He's shopping. Right? He's shopping. Negative. He's shopping. He isn't shopping. Very good. Question form. He's shopping. 
Is he shopping? Muy bien, ahí duplicamos la última consonante, ¿verdad? Porque tenemos consonante vocal, consonante, perdón, consonante vocal, consonante, sí. Muy bien, excelente. The next one is read, ¿ok? Read. So, create your sentences. What would be the first one? He is reading. She's reading. Okay, very good. Negative? She is in reading. Mm -hmm. Question form? Is she in mm -hmm. reading? Is she reading? Okay. Study. Study, okay. She is reading. Mm. Decimos, she is studying. Muy bien, studying. studying. She's okay. studying. Negative. She is studying. Mm -hmm. She's in studying, right? Question form. Is she studying? Is she studying, right? Very good. Question there, right? Question mark. And the last one is watch television. Okay, so first sentence. He is watching his television. Mm -hmm. He is watching television, right? Negative. He isn't watching television. He isn't watching television, right? And the last one, question. Is he watching television? Is he watching television? Very good. Excellent. Okay, here we can say uh, short answers, right? Yes, he is, or no, he isn't, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahí hemos puesto tres cosas a trabajar. Positive, negative, and question form, pero... Hemos puesto solamente eh, yes, not questions, pero no information questions, ¿verdad? Entonces, what do we do here when we want to add um, information questions? Well, it depends on the context, right? But we will try to make up. Vamos a tratar de eh, agregar unas acá. Entonces, vamos a ver eh, here. Positive, negative, and question form. I forgot to add this. Positive, negative, and question form. I think we have all of them. Okay, and then the answers. Porque se lo voy a compartir. Permita. Sería yes. Yes, they are. Yes, they aren't. No, they aren't. Then acá, ¿verdad? Tenemos yes, she is. No, she isn't. Okay. Acá lo mismo. Yes, they aren't. No, they aren't. Mm -hmm. No, he isn't. Y acá también. Y aquí. Es lo mismo. Vale, se lo voy a compartir aquí en el chat. So you can have those as examples. Estos son ejemplos nada más, ¿verdad? Que hemos, que hemos usado o que hemos creado usando el vocabulario que nos presenta la plataforma. Bye. Ahí se los compartí en, en el chat. Now, in the platform, um, the instructor, you know, allows you to listen to the right, to the correct pronunciation of the different activities that we have, right? Um, what other activities can you add to the list? ¿Qué otras actividades podrían agregar a la lista? Aparte de las que tienen acá, ¿qué otras podían agregar? podrían agregar? Perdón. Eight. 
eating. Like this. Eating. eating. Sí. Bye. Eat es el pasado de eat, ¿verdad? Pero con presente continuo sería eating. Muy bien. ¿Qué más? Cooking. ¿Mm? Cooking. Muy bien. Mm -hmm. Ajá. Cooking. Muy bien. Vamos a ir agregando las formas bases y el, el ing. Entonces aquí tenemos eat, eating, ¿verdad? Cook, cooking. ¿Cuál otra? Play, playing. Uh -huh. Play, playing, ya está. Yo digo actividades que no estén aquí en la lista. Por ejemplo, working. Como... ¿Mm? working. Ok, work, working, muy bien. Eh, hay una, por ejemplo, que es spend time with the family, ¿verdad? Spend time with the family. Esto es como dedicarle tiempo o pasar tiempo con la familia. I'm spending time with my family, ¿verdad? Spend, spending, spend time with the family. Pasar tiempo con la familia. ¿Algún otro que se les ocurra que no esté en la lista? Reading. ¿Mm? Reading. Mm. Reading. Sí, aquí está en la lista. Aquí. Read, reading. Uh, drinking. Writing. Writing. Write. Writing. Ok, escribir. Por ahí escuché drink, que es eh, tomar algo, ¿verdad? Drinking. Ok. ¿Qué más? Listen. Ah, Listen. muy bien, muy bien. Listen. Listening. Uh -huh. Speaking. Speaking. Ok. Speak. Speaking. Muy bien. Fishing. ¿Mm? No escuché porque hablaron dos personas al mismo tiempo, perdón. Ajá. Fishing. Fishing. Pescar. Teach. Teach. Ah, teach. Ah. Ok, ya. Yeah. Teach. Teaching. Ok, muy bien. Teach, teaching. Uh -huh. What else? Call, calling. Call. Ok, calling. Call, calling. Muy bien. Enjoy. Enjoy, uh -huh. enjoying, ¿verdad? Enjoy, enjoying. Disfrutar, por ejemplo, I'm enjoying the party. Estoy disfrutando la fiesta. I'm enjoying the party. Muy bien. ¿Qué más, chicos? Time. ¿Perdón? Time. Give. Give, like this, dar. Paint. 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 Do you say think? Paint. Or think? Paint. Think. Paint. Vaya, mejor, mejor me lo digitan aquí, por favor, es que casi no se les escucha. Aquí pueden digitar. Ah, paint. Ok, paint. Ajá, sí, painting. Muy bien. Yes. ¿Qué otro, chicos? Creo que ahí está la mayoría, ¿ok? Que ver, ver. Ajá, think, thinking. Uh -huh. Think, thinking, ¿verdad? Estoy pensando, I'm thinking, decimos, ¿ok? And... Ahí lo vamos a dejar. Voy a compartirles estos aquí en el chat también. Ahí está. Vaya, right, chicos. Entonces, let's listen to the pronunciation of these verbs, okay, or these activities. Okay, pay attention, please. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll become familiar with vocabulary in order to express activities. Let's start by listening and repeating. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. 
He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Now, your task is to describe the actions from the pictures and form statements in the present continuous. For example, he's playing tennis. She's riding a bike. Okay, and that's the activity that we did. That's lo que nosotros hicimos, okay? Así de que I'm going to play one more time the listening y luego pasamos al siguiente punto. He's playing tennis. He's riding a bike. She's running. He's swimming. She's taking a walk. They're dancing. She's driving. They're going to the movies. He's shopping. She's reading. She's studying. He's watching television. Very good. So those were the activities, right? Now, what happens next? Uh, here you have one exercise. Este ejercicio, chicos, es de la plataforma, pero resultó ser un poco confuso para algunos de nosotros, ¿verdad? Porque al final daba un sonido, pero el sonido que daba era typing, cuando en realidad en el, en el texto en sí nos daba, pues, otro ejemplo, ¿verdad? Así que, let's go ahead and check it, ¿verdad? Vamos a escucharlo. Yo sé que este ya lo hicieron ustedes, ¿verdad? Pero lo vamos, lo vamos a escuchar una vez más. Así que, pay attention to the different sounds. Tenemos la número uno ya está, que es driving. Luego tenemos acá dancing, eating dinner, playing tennis, riding a bike, shopping, swimming, watching television. ¿verdad? Así que let's go ahead and listen to the conversation, I mean, to the sentences, and you, we are going to organize them. Lo vamos a organizar, ¿ok? Answer questions about each sound. One. Two. Three. Four. <laughs> Next Wednesday night. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Okay, let's go ahead and organize them. Uh, number one is driving. What about number two? What do you have Swimming. for number two? Swimming. Mm -hmm. In this case, is swimming, right? What about number three? Eating. 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 Eating dinner. Okay, number four. Television. Watching television. Number five. Dancing. Dancing. Number six. A bike. Riding a bike. Muy bien. Number seven. Playing. Playing. 
Playing tennis. Playing tennis. Very good. Number eight. Shopping. Shopping. Very good. Okay. So those are the different, you know, activities that we have. But what happens in the platform? ¿Qué sucede en la plataforma? En la plataforma, la número ocho es esto. Miren. Así, ve. Por si les, les da errores porque tienen que digitar eso. Typing. En la plataforma, la respuesta de la número ocho la guardaron como typing. No la guardaron como shopping. ¿Verdad? Just for you to be careful. ¿Ok? Entonces, those are the different sounds that you were able to identify here. ¿Verdad? Entonces, uh, también me gustaría aprovechar y preguntar, ¿hay alguna pregunta relacionada con... Eh, ah, dígame, Melanie. Igual con la plataforma, a mí en ese ejercicio me tira dos malas, una cuatro, la de watching television, también me lo tira, me tira el error ahí. Vaya, entonces vamos a revisar ahorita, ya le digo. Le voy a dar las opciones que usted puede usar para que... No le dé ese error. La número cuatro me dijo, ¿verdad? Ahí he puesto, she is watching television. Mm, eh, con solo watching y también el error. Le voy a compartir aquí la que yo usé, que es esta, mire. She's watching television. Copia y pegue y me avisa si le funciona. Es lo mismo, lo mismo pero, pero lo copió y lo pegó. Tienes que copiarlo y pegarlo. Ajá. No lo dijiste, sino que copie y pegue. Uh -huh. Voy a intentar meterme en la plataforma desde la com. Ah, ok. Mejor sigamos en lo que logro meterme en el taco. There are several options, actually. Ajá. Porque lo otro que podría estar pasando es que usted está utilizando una apóstrofe diferente. Que puede ser, ¿verdad? Pero si es para la número, la número cuatro, todas esas que le voy a compartir son las respuestas que se guardaron dentro de la plataforma. O sea que si usted ocupa cualquiera de las que yo le compartí ahorita, debería de dejarla pasar. Pero igual, búsquenlo en la computadora y me avisa. Okay, guys, so let's move on to 5.14, ¿verdad? So in 5.14, it says in this class, students will read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. But before I move to that part, I would like to finish with the present continuous form. And with the present continuous form, right, we're going to be working with a the different, you know, sections. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to uh, share with you, right, a, an exercise. Le voy a compartir un ejercicio. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio de lectura, pero relacionado con eh, present continuous. Así que, guys, necesito que se vayan al link que les compartí eh, aquí en el chat de Zoom, siempre sin compartir nada en el chat de WhatsApp para no confundir a los demás, ¿verdad? Todo aquí a través del chat de Zoom. Así que, Please go to the to, to that link and you're going to listen. Van a, van a escuchar este ejercicio de listening y reading. Ok, y en la última parte, pues un poquito de writing. Así que I will give you guys five minutes. Ok, five minutes for you to complete the sentences. Ok, si hay preguntas, me puede hacer las preguntas. No hay ningún problema, ¿de acuerdo? Preguntas, chicos. Questions? No. Bueno, entonces comenzamos los cinco minutos ahora.
time's up, guys. Tell me, are you ready? Estamos listos o necesitan unos minutos más? ¿Estamos listos entonces? Pueden compartir sus resultados aquí en el chat, por favor. ¿Necesitan más tiempo? Bueno, no me contestaron, pero si no me contestaron, me imagino que no han terminado. Así que les voy a dar tres minutos más, ¿ok? Ahí están los tres minutos. Me avisan, por favor, si terminan antes.
Vaya, Daniel, thank you. No se preocupe, aquí lo reviso yo. What about the rest? Yo también lo estoy llenando como ustedes. Así envían la captura, ¿verdad? Aunque no les aparezca nota, su, pongan su captura de pantalla aquí en el chat de Zoom, por favor. No me deja abrirlo, Daniel. Solo tal vez si me manda un screenshot. Porque me dice... De... Ah, sí, es un screenshot, pero no me deja abrirlo. Tal vez si no lo pone como adjunto, sino que solo lo pega nada más. Tal vez ahí me deja verlo. Los demás chicos. No, es que no le va a dar notas. Solo por eso necesito que me adjunten el, la captura para que ahí les, me aparezca qué es lo que ustedes rellenaron. Ok, gracias chicos. Uh -huh. Vaya, ok, muy bien. Entonces les voy a mostrar estas que tengo yo acá para que ustedes vayan viendo, ¿ok? Vaya, for example, this is the first one, ¿verdad? So it says, lo vamos a revisar juntos acá. El primero. Dice, hi there, my name is Sandy and I am looking at some family photos. Look at this one taken on the first Sunday afternoon of summer. 
This is a very nice and very sunny afternoon. This is a, uh, I see, I am trying to find some nice music on the radio. My husband is reading the newspaper. Joe, my brother, is watering the, pl the flowers. My brother-in-law, Steve, has offered to clean the windows on a Sunday. Well, that is a proposition you can't refuse. My twin daughters, Angie and Kate, are playing with their dolls just next to me. Vaya, preguntas del vocabulario, chicos. Mm -hmm. Questions del vocabulario. No dicen bye. Effort. Vamos al siguiente entonces, ¿verdad? En el siguiente tenemos acá. Vamos a ver, se lo voy a copiar. Aquí se los pongo. Tenemos, my son Sam is standing in front of his father eating a sandwich. Joe, the kid's grandfather, is having a nap. And their grandmother, Jenny, is drinking a nice cup of tea. Of course, our cat Fluffy is running after the birds as usual, and some of our ducks are bathing in the small pond. As you can see, we have got quite a big garden around our house, which is an, in Cardiff. I like being with my family and sharing this sort of moment. What about you? Questions, guys? Nap. What is nap? Nap. Una siesta. Está tomando una siesta. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Anyone else? No. Okay. Vamos a la siguiente parte. Tenemos acá fill in the blanks with the correct form of uh, the present continuous. Solo ahí vi nada más la observación, ¿verdad? Que en este ejercicio vi que algunos no le habían puesto el, el, el verbo to be, ¿verdad? Voy a pasar la primer, la, el primer eh, párrafo. Lo tenemos acá, ¿ok? Y dice de la siguiente manera. I am writing to you from our hotel. I am on a vacation. I am on vacation, I'm sorry, with my family. And we are having a great time. The weather is great and the sun is shining. I look outside my window and people are going towards the beach. There are some people who are swimming and others are sailing. I am looking at some children. They are playing near the edge of the beach and others are building sand castles. Okay. Now the second part says the following. Just to let our, just to left of our hotel is a big restaurant. Just to the left, pardon, just to the left of our hotel is a big restaurant. Some people are sitting and are drinking some kind of drink that looks delicious, right? The waiter is going towards them and I am sure they are ready to order. They look very hungry. At the moment, my brother is watching television and my mother is telling him to get ready because we are going to do some sightseeing. My father is waiting for us downstairs, so I'll write to you again later, okay? So, what can you tell me, guys? Questions about the second uh, paragraph? Questions about the second paragraph? No, okay. Eh, let me see. Vamos a la última parte. Contestemos juntos. Where is Paula, chicos? ¿A dónde está Paula? Where is Paula? In a hotel. Okay, yes. 
si, re, si usted contestó, she's on vacation at the beach, she's on vacation at the hotel, she's in a hotel, cualquiera de esas respuestas está bien, ¿de acuerdo? Now, what is Paula doing at the moment? She's writing a letter. She's writing a letter. Okay, very good. She's writing a letter. And what about number three? What are people doing? What are people doing? Some people are swimming. Mm -hmm. Some people are swimming. Very good. What about it? I mean, what about the other activities? Otras actividades que estén haciendo las personas en la playa? Dice some of them are swimming. What else? Other, other people are, are sailing. Mm -hmm. Other people are sailing, right? Very good. Okay. And, uh, well, I think she mentions that. Um, ah, people that are going towards the beach, right? As you were saying, Daniel, some people are swimming and others are sailing, right? And she's also looking at the children that are playing near the age. Okay, very good. Excellent. What are the children doing? What are the children doing? Some children are building castle, uh, some castles. Mm -hmm. Some children, sin la S, ¿verdad? Some children are building castles. Yeah, that's true, sun castles, okay? Or playing right near the age. Very good. What about Paula's brother? What is Paula's brother doing? He is watching television. He's watching television. And what is Paula's father's doing? Father doing, I'm sorry. He is waiting for their... For them. Them. Mm -hmm. Very good. She's waiting for them. Okay, excellent. Now, guys, again, try to um, check again, uh, the, the exercise one more time. Les voy a compartir las respuestas una vez más porque creo que se confundieron con las imágenes que ustedes compartieron después. Aquí está la primera, ¿verdad? Here you have the second one. Compare las respuestas para que usted pueda ver si se había equivocado en algo. Y ahorita les paso las últimas. Esta es una. Y ya les paso lo último. De ahí las preguntas, pues las contestamos entre, entre los que contestaron y yo. Ok. There you go. Ahí está. Ok, entonces, that is a little bit about present continuous in action. Ok. Now it says, in this class, students will read an online chat and develop skills in reading for details. Yes, reading for details. Um, whenever you kind of scan, es como un escaneo que nosotros hacemos a la lectura, ¿verdad? Entonces, cuando usted ve el texto y escanea, usted puede como identificar la idea principal. Entonces, en inglés eso se llama scanning, ¿verdad? Entonces, through this reading, the idea is for you to develop skills in reading for details. Like, reading for details is different. Usted escanea, por las ideas principales, pero reading for details es ya leer y buscar detalles específicos. I will show them here. Here, this is a reading that you can find in the um, in the platform. Okay, so I'm going to play the listening for you. Please pay attention to the reading, and after that, we're going to answer the questions. Okay, very good. Here we go. Ash. Reading, Friends Across a Continent. Meg Martin and Kathy O'Brien chat online almost every day. Meg is an exchange student from the U.S. She is studying in Mexico. 
Kathy is in the U.S. Hi there. Hi, Meg. What are you doing? I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework. What are you working on? I'm writing an essay for Spanish class. Can you chat? For a minute. Where are you? I'm in an internet cafe with my friend Carmen. I'm having coffee and she's reading a magazine. How is your family? They're all fine. My father's working outside. He's mowing the lawn. My mother is out shopping. Where's your brother? John's not home. He's playing soccer in the park. Oh, wait. My mother is home. She's calling me. I have to go. Okay, bye. Bye. Very good. So, questions about the vocabulary words? Questions about the vocabulary words? Preguntas de vocabulario? No. Bye. Entonces, question number one, guys. Who is writing an essay? Who is writing an essay? Meg. Okay. Vamos a ver, Meg. Well, no, actually, I think it's Kathy, right? Kathy says, uh, I'm sitting on my bed with my laptop computer. I'm doing my homework, right? And I think she mentions, uh, and aquí sabe. I am That's writing an essay yeah. for a Spanish class, right? Okay. Right. What about number two? Who is having coffee? Meg. Let's see. Yeah, Meg. Oh, I lo siento, ya les mostré el siguiente. Okay. Uh, who is reading a magazine? Carmen, right? Who is working outside? The father, Kathy. Kathy's father. Okay, let's see. Kathy's father, very good. And who is shopping? Who is shopping? Kathy's mother. Okay, let's see if it's true. That's right, Kathy's mother. And number six, who is playing soccer? Kathy's brother. It's Joan O'Brien, right? Joan O'Brien and, uh, well, it's um, same thing, right? Joan O'Brien. Now, uh, from the information that you can see here, right? Um, sometimes we use the apostrophe, uh, the apostrophe S, right? To express possession. No sé si ustedes se recuerdan que lo vimos en la, en la unidad anterior, ¿verdad? Cuando hablábamos de, eh, let me see, was possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, possessive s, etc. Give me one second. Listo, I see. And eh, whenever you are talking about uh, the owner and the possession, right? You need to use apostrophe S, okay? So Kathy's father, right? Um, Kathy's mother, so la mama de, right, etc. So in this case, we're going to be uh, working with, um, how can I say, it? vocabulary related to activities, okay? So vocabulary related to activities, we are including possessives here with the possessive S, right? Uh, we are including questions, 
uh, WH questions and information questions. And I'm going to just highlight, okay, the questions in here. Déjeme ver, quiero ver. Tenemos por acá la primera. What are you doing? Okay. What are you working on? Tenemos, esta no es con ING, pero es una WH question. Okay. Uh, where's your brother? Lo mismo, no es con ING, pero es una WH question. Okay. Entonces, here we have a combination, okay, of all the things that you have studied from the very uh, first section until now. Pretty much we're mixing present simple of verb B and we are mixing it with present continuous. When it, what we need to remember guys is that uh, here we leave present, I mean, uh, I would say the present simple of verb to be behind. Why? Because present, present simple of verb B for this particular topic becomes a helper es un ayudante, it becomes an auxiliary, it's not the main verb anymore, ¿verdad? No es el verbo principal, ya no, ¿verdad? Entonces, we leave behind verb B as uh, the main verb in its affirmative and negative way for the present simple form, and now we are using it as an auxiliary. And that supports, you know, the main verb with the ing form to create sentences with the present continuous form. You can find this topic as present continuous or as, as present progressive, right? Either or, both options are okay. Uh, let me delete all my drawings. Ahí está. Muy bien. Entonces, you will be able to find this knowledge check in 5.16, right? 5.16 and there you um, will be able to find, además, ya lo contestaron, ¿verdad? Así que, let's go ahead and have a review, guys. Vamos a tener un review de todo lo que han hecho, okay? What do I need you to do? Um, I'm going to be showing the exercises and I'm going to be setting the timer, okay? Voy a ir poniendo el timer para que ustedes me vayan contestando. So, write each time in a different way. So, si yo digo, it's midnight, right? The same thing would be to say it's 12 o'clock at night. Es lo mismo que decir midnight, pero en otras palabras, porque eso es lo que estamos haciendo, escribirlo en una forma diferente. So if I say it's 4 p.m., guys, what would be another way to say it's 4 p.m.? Mm -hmm. Les voy, a, les voy a mostrar qué es lo que tienen que usar. Para... Sí, correcto. Ajá, sería in the afternoon. Solo les voy a mostrar el, la parte del, del, del manual donde está eso, permítanme. Pero sí, muy bien, así como lo dijo su compañero, it's four o'clock in the afternoon. I mean, it would be the, the same thing. Déjame ver. I think it's this one. See, it's this. Give me one moment. Okay. I can start telling the time. Bye. Sería page number. Es esa página, miren. Page number. 31, aquí, page number 31. And I remember I talked a little bit about this. Hablé un poquito sobre esto, ¿verdad? And those are the different ways to say, you know, the time in that, in two different ways. Se lo voy a compartir aquí en el chat de, de WhatsApp, ¿ok? Ahí está. Entonces, ahí lo tienen. What about this when it's 9.15 9 a.m.? What's another way to say that? Night. It's nine 
15 in the morning. Muy bien, it's 9.15 in the morning. That's right, okay. It's 8 p.m. It's eight, 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 eight o'clock. Muy bien, it's eight, eight o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. It's eight o'clock in the evening or at night. Muy bien. What about number five? It's ten for five. At night. At night. Mm -hmm. It's 10.45 no. at night. Muy bien. Number six, it's 3.30 p.m. It's 32 in the afternoon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. It's 3.30 in the afternoon. What about number seven? Six. Um, in the afternoon. Sí, in the afternoon. En este libro, fíjense que evening lo usan desde las 7 de la noche. En otros lugares desde las 6, ¿verdad? Pero sí, it's 6 o'clock in the afternoon, Melanie. Thank you. What about number 8? Solo con una palabra. It's midnight. No, porque it's 12 p.m. Midnight es la primera. Ah, uh -huh. yeah. Noon. Noon, yeah. right? It's noon. Muy bien. Por ahí escuché la respuesta. It's known. Very good. Questions? Preguntas? Okay. Sure. Now it's what time is it in each city? Write the time in two different ways. Okay. So we have here it's 10 a.m. in Los Angeles. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Okay. What about the next ones? You're going to get yourself through this. Okay. I'm going to give you four minutes for you to complete this exercise okay four minutes and your four minutes begin right now
I think I made like two mistakes. Creo que yo me equivoqué en dos, chicos. Pero ya lo vamos a, a revisar, okay? So number one, it's 10 a.m. in Los Angeles. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. It's 10 a.m. in Los Angeles. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Uh -huh. Okay, very good. Uh, what do you have in number two, guys? ¿Qué tienen en la número dos? Sigamos con México, Mexico City. 11. Denver. 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 No, es que yo lo llevo en... Ajá, en es, ay, sí, sí, sí. Es que espérenme. Es que por eso lo digo que yo creo que me equivoqué en dos. Yo creo que... What, what do you have in Denver? Denver. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's 11 a.m. in Denver. ¿Y la segunda sería? It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Muy bien. Muy bien. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. What about number three? Uh, it's 12 mm -hmm. in the Mexico City. Correct. It's 12 p.m. in Mexico City or? It's noon. It's noon. Muy bien. What about Lima? Uh, <laughs> Aquí creo que tu navío me equivoca. Oh, no. No. What do you have for Lima? Mm, no, pues sí la tengo buena. So one. So one. Well, I have it's 1 p.m. and it's 1 o'clock in the mm -hmm. afternoon, right? What about number five? Santiago. Uh, Two. Mm -hmm. It's two. Santiago. Santiago. Muy bien. It's 2 p.m. in Santiago. And the second floor? It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. It's 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Muy bien. Number six. It's 3. It's 3, 3. It's 3 p.m. in the Rio. In Rio, no. sin el de, ¿verdad? Porque no necesitamos oh. el de, ajá. So it's 3 p.m. in Rio, and la, la otra, la segunda sería? Muy bien, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. Good job, guys. Ahí podemos ver las dos formas, ¿verdad? You can go ahead and uh, tell the time using a.m. or p.m. Or you can specify, I mean, the part of the day that we're in, right? And let's move on to the next exercise, okay? What time is it? Use the sentences in the box. So number one, it's already done. It's 20 after nine. What about number two? Ten to <laughs> Pero aquí están aquí arriba, look, aquí están las it's opciones. 10 to 8. Muy bien, mm. it's 10 to 8. What about number 3? Number 3? It's quarter of the quarter after 1. Very yeah. good. It's a quarter, a quarter after, after one. 1. What about number 4? It's 5 by 5. five. It's 5.05, very good. Number five? Quarter to three. Muy bien, it's a quarter to three. And number six? Eight after, eight. Eight. Eight eight. after six. Muy bien, it's eight after six. Very good, okay? Now, complete the crossword puzzle. Write each time a different way, okay? So I'm going to give you some time for you to complete the sentences, right? Let's do number one. It says it's 5 a.m. in the morning. So it's 5 a.m., right? So here you have it. 
Okay. It will be like this. Look, it's 5 a.m. What about this one? Okay. Uh, the next one is going to be. Pero me voy a cerrar acá para que me deje. Ahí está. The next one, number four, it's 4.15. So it's a quarter after four. Okay. Entonces ustedes van a completar la oración y van a asegurarse que la palabra quede, ¿verdad? En los cuadritos para rellenar el crossword puzzle. Okay. Así que for this one, I'm going to give you uh, four minutes. Okay. Cuatro minutos. And your four minutes begin right now. Comienzan ahora, chicos.
Are you ready, guys? Okay, so if you want, let's go ahead and check the answers. Si estamos listos, chequemos respuestas entonces. Tenemos acá, well, number four, we already have the answer. What about number seven, guys? It's 12 a.m., so it's, it's what? Midnight. Let me see. It's 12 a.m. It's midnight. Veamos. Correct. Right? It's midnight. What about number 8? It's 8 p.m. Or it's 8 in the... Evening. Let's see. Evening. Very good. Okay. Number 9. It's 12 p.m. It's noon. Muy bien, noon, right? Down. Let's see, down. It's it's 7 a.m. It's 7 in the morning. 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 Muy bien, acá. Uh, number three. It's 3.30. It's 3. 30. Mm -hmm. 3.30, right? Number three. And number four, it's 4 p.m. It's four in the... Afternoon. Mm -hmm. The afternoon. It's 1.15. It's 1... 15. Water. No, okay, 15. Okay, number five. Uh, it's number six. It's 3.45 or it's a... quarter it's a quarter right to four and it's 11 p.m it's 11 not night. night night very good this this one okay excellent so that is about the review that we're doing related to unique or well section number five right what are these people doing write sentences using the words in the box okay so number one it's already done she's sleeping what about number two guys what is he doing he is swimming. Mm -hmm. He's swimming. He's swimming, right? Number three, what are they doing? They're playing. They're playing, They're playing tennis, okay? Very good. They're playing tennis. What about this one? Bueno, le voy a pasar mejor estas acá primero antes de moverme a la siguiente. Going to share this with you here. Ahí está. So what about number four? Number four. He is reading a bike. Mm -hmm. Muy bien. En este caso es she, creo yo, ¿verdad? She's riding a bike. What about number five? And they're shopping. Mm -hmm. They're shopping. Number six? He's watching, He's watching television. He's watching TV. Number seven. He's driving. He's driving. Number eight. She's reading a newspaper. She's reading the newspaper. Very good. Number nine. They are dancing. They're dancing. Very good. Okay. And it says answer these questions. We're going to answer with a, the short form and then with the correct um. Uh, information. Mm -hmm. Is Debbie getting up? No, she isn't, right? She's sleeping. 
Are Kelly and Tony talk, taking a walk? No, they aren't. They're shopping. What about them? Number three, are Megan and Dan studying? No, they aren't. Mm -hmm. no, they aren't. They're dancing. Muy bien. They're dancing. Very good. So, no, they aren't. They're, They're dancing. dancing. Mm -hmm. Is Carmen driving a car? No, she isn't. She's no. riding a bike. Muy bien. No, she isn't. She's riding a bike. Muy bien. What about number five? Is Bill swimming? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. He's taking a walk. Okay. Is he taking a walk? No. Running. Running. Mm -hmm. running. Again, he's running, right? Is Michiko having dinner? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. She's, she's watch TV. Watching. That's just okay. watching TV. Is Claire watching television? No, she is not. She is mm -hmm. reading a book. Very good. Number eight. What about you? Are you sleeping? No, I'm not. What are you doing? I'm listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> you can say, I'm studying English, I'm listening to you, I'm paying attention, etc. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Okay, so this exercise is different, right? It goes, is Terry wearing shorts? No, he's not. He's wearing jeans, right? Uh, what about number two? What do you think it's the, it's the question they are asking? Siempre con, acordémonos que son preguntas de sí y no con present continuous, ¿ok? Tylin es el nombre de la persona. Luego dice wear a raincoat. So what is the question? Is Tylin wearing, wearing a raincoat? Muy bien. Is Tylin wearing a raincoat? What do you think? Yes, he yes, is he or is. no, he isn't. Yes, he is. Right. Yes, he is wearing a raincoat. Okay. Raincoat, recordemos que es el impermeable, ¿verdad? I will show you the answer. En ese caso, he, no, he isn't, pero he's wearing a coat. Pero sí lleva uno abrigo, ¿verdad? He's wearing a coat. Okay, so is Stanley wearing a raincoat? No, he isn't. He's wearing a coat. Porque está dentro del lugar. Quiere decir de que no está usando un impermeable, ¿verdad? What about number three? Number three. Is Maria talking on the phone? Mm -hmm. Is Maria talking on the phone? No, she isn't. She's sleeping. <laughs> no, she isn't, ¿verdad? She's sleeping. That's right. Number four. Are Terry and Helen eating? Muy bien. Are Terry and um, Helen eating? No, they aren't. They are <laughs> no, they aren't, right? They're dancing. Muy bien. Entonces tenemos luego five, six, seven, and eight. And I will give you uh, three minutes for you to complete them, okay? So take this three minutes for you to complete five, six, seven, and eight, okay? And your three minutes begin right now.
Ready, guys? Vamos con number five, okay? What would be the question for number five? Are Pedro and Sonia what? I'm watching television. Muy bien. Are Pedro and Sonia watching television? And what is the answer? No, they are. They are talking. Muy bien. No, they aren't. They are talking. Very good. What about number six? Are Kylie and Brando eating pizza? Repeat it one more time. I thought I think. Eating pizza. Mm -hmm. okay. Muy bien. And what is the answer? They, yes, they are. Mm -hmm. They are. Muy bien. What about number seven? Is Carlos shopping online? Mm -hmm. What is the answer? No, he isn't. No, he isn't. What is he doing then? He is reading a book. He's reading, right? Number eight. What is the is question? Is Maria wearing boots? Is Maria wearing boots? What is the answer? No, she aren't. No, she isn't. ¿Verdad? No, she isn't. What is the correct answer? She's wearing heels. She's wearing high heels or she's wearing heels. Muy bien, excelente. Very good. Now, as you can remember from the, um, the very beginning, when we were talking about the different uh, sections of the of the unit that we were going to study, you had two words. Teníamos dos, bueno, tres aquí, ¿verdad? Tenemos and, but, or so. ¿Alguien se recuerda cómo se llamaban esas? De acuerdo a lo que vimos en el, en lo que ustedes leyeron en el manual y lo que vieron en la presentación. ¿Cómo se llaman estas? And, but, or so. ¿Se recuerda a alguien cómo se llama? Se llaman conjunctions, pero se las quiero mostrar aquí en el... Se las quiero mostrar... Aquí está. Se las quiero mostrar en el manual, ¿ok? Son estas, ¿ve? Eh, page number eh, 26. And they are called conjunctions. Una conjunction es una palabra que nos ayuda a unir dos frases, dos oraciones, ¿verdad? Dos ideas. Eso es una conjunction. Entonces aquí tenemos with, eh, perdón, tenemos and, but, or so. And, que nos da la idea de que vamos agregando, enlistando, y, ¿verdad? Luego tenemos but, que es un contraste entre una idea y la otra. Y tenemos so, algo así como por lo tanto. Muy bien. Entonces, tenemos la primera. It's already done. They're in English class. So, they're reading English books. What about number two? ¿Cuál usaría usted? And, but, or so. My first name is Kevin. And my last name is Matt. But. But. Bueno, en este caso es and, como les dijo su compañero. Porque no estoy haciendo ningún contraste. No puedo hacer but. No puedo usar but, perdón. Entonces, my first name is Kevin and my last name is Mason. Estoy agregando una idea más. What about number three? We're hungry. Sorry. Muy bien. We're really hungry, so we're eating dinner. Excellent, very good. Por lo tanto, ¿verdad? Vamos a comer. Estamos comiendo. What about number four? But. But, ahí sí hay contraste. Can you read the sentence, please? My family and I are from Korea originally, but we're here in the USA now. Very good. What about number five? Uh, Muy bien. Can you read the sentence, please? 
Per is studying and Ernie is watching television. Muy bien, number six. But. Mm -hmm. Okay, can you read the sentence, please? Fred is very good looking, but he isn't very nice. Mm -hmm. But very good, excellent. Voy a dejar este pendiente, vamos a ver si nos alcanza el tiempo, pero antes de eso me voy a pasar acá, ¿ok? Vamos a darle una revisada rápida a lo que es el final exam. Tenemos aquí the listening section. It says listen to the conversation and select the correct answer, right? So we uh, we are to listen to those conversations and I'm going to play it for you right now. Give me one moment. Solo déjeme abrirlo aquí en la plataforma. Aquí está. Okay. So let's go ahead and listen. Listen to the conversations. Check the correct answers. One. Your name is interesting, Justine. Are you French? No, I'm not. Are you Italian? No, I'm Canadian. You're from Canada? Yes. My family is from Montreal originally. Two. Where's Mike? Uh, Mike? I don't know him. He's my friend from school. He's a little quiet. Oh, is he serious? Actually, no, he's not. He's very That's funny. Very funny. Three. Wow, it's really warm today. Yes. It sure is. And it's sunny, too. No, it's not. Look, it's, it's raining. Oh, oh well. That's one. Four. Hey, Sue. How are you? Great, Phil. How about you? I'm okay. Hey, you look great. That's a nice suit. Thanks. It's new. Um, where's Ms. Collins? Uh, she's right over there. She's wearing a blue dress. Oh, I see her. Thanks. Listen. Okay, so what about number one? Where is Justin from, guys? She's from Canada. She's from Canada. She's from Canada. What is Mike like? He's a little quiet, but very funny. Muy bien. He's a little quiet, but very funny. What's the weather like? It's raining, but it's warm. Mm -hmm. It's raining, but it's warm. And number four is Sue wearing a blue dress. Yes, no, please. she's not. She's wearing a suit. Muy bien. No, she's not. She's wearing a suit, right? Al menos es la que está registrada ahí, ¿verdad? Muy bien. Let's continue. This is not letter A. We're moving to letter B. It says, read the, read the answers and then write the questions, right? Instructions. To be able to work on this exercise, you need to read the answers first. Based on the answer, you may type your question. Do not forget to add a question mark at the end, okay? So, si la respuesta es, no, they're not from England, they're from Australia, what is the question they ask? Are they from England? Muy bien. Are they from England? No, they're not from England. They're from Australia. Muy bien. Si la respuesta es, we're from New York, what is the answer? Where are you from? Muy bien. Where are you from? Right? Number three. Si la respuesta es, I think she's 22, what is the question we ask? How old is she? How old is she? Muy bien, okay. Number four, si la respuesta es no, my first language is in Spanish, it's Portuguese. What was the question? Is your first language Spanish? Muy bien, is your first language Spanish? And number five, si yo digo yes, I'm Japanese, I'm from Tokyo, what was the original question? Are you Japanese? Repeat it one more time. Are you Japanese? Are you Japanese? ¿verdad? Are you Japanese? Very good. Excellent. This is 
letter B, right? So as you can see, we are using here bird to be, okay? What about letter C? Choose the correct adjective to complete the sentence. Larry isn't serious, so he's... Funny. Funny. Jean is a really good student. She's very... Smart. Smart, okay. Three, my teacher isn't short. She's... Tall. Tall, Tall. right? And number four, my brother is good looking. He's... Handsome. Handsome, very good. So this is the topic related to personal, pardon, physical appearance, right? And also personal adjectives, okay? Personality adjectives, mejor dicho. Personality adjectives. Then in the next one, it says, choose the correct answer, okay? So choose the correct answer to the question. <laughs> Okay, choose the correct answer to the question is this one. Let me see. Se escuchó un gran ruido por ahí. Um, number one. Is this Sue's scarf? Is this Sue's scarf? What do you think? Aquí lo que tenemos que hacer es eh, analizar la oración y ver que haga match la respuesta. Por ejemplo, dice, is this su scarf? Yo no puedo decir maybe their cat, Katie's, porque no estoy hablando en plural, ¿verdad? Ni tampoco puedo decir yes, their hurts, porque tampoco estoy hablando en plural. La única que puede ser es no. no it's, it's not her, it's mine, it's mine, porque solo hablo de uno. Correcto, ¿verdad? Number two, whose boots are these? Maybe they're Katie's. Okay, maybe they're Katie's. Very good. Number three, are these Lisa's clothes? Yes, they hers. Mm -hmm. Yes, they're hers. Muy bien. Whose hat is this? I think it's yours. I think it's yours, okay? Number five, are these Peter's and Kathy's coats? No, they aren't theirs, they're ours. Muy bien, no, they aren't theirs, they're ours. Very good. Entonces aquí lo que tenemos que hacer, como les digo, es analizar la oración y que la respuesta haga match con número y, y verbo, ¿verdad? Que el verbo esté correcto y que el número sea singular o plural, dependiendo de lo que se esté viendo. And then we are going to letter C, right? In letter C, it says, use the correct present continuous form of the verb. Are you wearing jeans? One, two, or three, guys? No, I'm wearing suit. Suit. No, I'm wearing a suit, right? Number two, is Mr. Sims wearing a tie? One, two, or three? Number three. Mm -hmm, that's right. No, he, no, he isn't wearing, wearing a tie. Uh, number three, are Ed and Sue wearing sweaters? Number two, no, they are not. It's very hot. It's very hot. Is it raining? Number two. No, it's not raining. No, not it's raining snowing. Is, no. Very good. Thank you so much. Now, the last one. Ese ya lo hicieron conmigo, ¿verdad? Pero let's go ahead and check the two answers, okay? Select the correct time. Look at the clocks and select the two possible correct answers for the hours displayed on each watch. Number two, what time is it? It's 10 to 7. Mm -hmm. The second one? 6.15. 6.50, muy bien. Number three, what time is it? It's 8.45. It's a 45 and it's a quarter to nine. It's a quarter to nine. Number four, what time is it? 
it's five past 11. Mm -hmm. Or? It's 11.05. Or it's 11.05. Now, as you can see, um, we have the different ways, right, to, to tell the time. So mm -hmm. you can use in the second half to, to say para las, and you can use also past. Es más famoso, les diré, bueno, más popular, ¿verdad? Past que after. Okay, it's, it's more popular. And also we were saying that you can use quarter and that it's optional if you want to use a quarter or just quarter. We was we were saying also that for that one, for, for I mean, for telling the time, if you want to say um, media hora, verdad, después de la hora, we use half, half past, and then you tell the time. Sigue la, la misma secuencia, eh, minutos, y luego la hora, okay? It's going to be uh, in that order. Now, eh, I don't know if you have any question, guys, alguna pregunta relacionada con algo de la plataforma, ya que hoy es la última clase. No. Very good. Ok, muy bien. Entonces voy a pasar asistencia de los que no me contestaron y ahí finalizamos. Permítanme. Eh, aquí está. Eh, David San Sarabia Arias. No vino. Evelyn Beatriz Campos Hernández. Tampoco. Flor Isabel Escobar Flores. Present. Gracias. Eh, Jonathan Alberto Santos España. Okay. Lisbeth Natalia Chávez Cervellón. Lisbeth Natalia. No vino. María Lisette Hernández de López. No vino. Mario José Rivas Hernández. Ok, no vino. Norberto de Jesús Marroquín Hernández. Um, Saúl Antonio Aguirre Tobar. No vino. Walter Alvarado, no, Walter José Alvarado Ramírez. And Wendy Lisette Castillo de Mendoza. Tampoco. Vaya, chicos. That's it. Well, thank you very much for joining today, ¿verdad? Y pues complementemos lo que nos haga falta de la plataforma. Y recuerden que cualquier pregunta, pues en mi caso, eh, por, por, con respecto a lo de la clase soy yo. Y si no, pues ahí está Cristian que les apoya desde coordinación. Así que thank you very much for your time. Have a wonderful day. Okay, and get ready for level two, ¿verdad? So thank you guys. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. You're welcome. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye. Goodbye.